Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a doodly storyboard to use to share our ideas with others. Hey, and welcome to the official doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. The new export as image feature in doodly makes it really easy to share your doodly scenes with other people. Whether you're working on a Doodly video, or maybe you want to use Doodly to sketch out a live action video concept, the export as image feature can help you make it happen. So first, let's start with a video. I'm just going to use a template as an example, and let's just pick one. And I'm going to pretend that I'm working on this in collaboration with somebody else, and that they do not have Doodly, and Maybe they don't even want to watch a video or something. Maybe we're just going to do this through email. So what I want to do is show them the template and then get their ideas. So rather than exporting and sharing the video, I'm going to export and share the individual scenes. So to do that, you just go to the scene in the timeline, right click it, choose save as image and pick a resolution and destination. So I, I think this is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder for it. We'll just call it template real estate. And you notice it's named video something or other and then scene one. Okay. That's fine. And I'm going to just use JPEG. That's fine. And I think 720 resolution is fine for our purposes. I'm going to do the same thing for scene two, right click, save as image, same location in that same folder. And then the next one and the next. So for example, as I'm collaborating with this person, they can see what I have in mind. Okay. I'm going to need some photos from my assistant. These are the type I'm looking for and kind of the characters that are going to be around it. I've now exported images of each scene in this video. And as you can see, this will give my assistant an idea of what I'm looking for or whatever my other person is. You know, maybe it's a client I'm working with and I'm like, Hey, here's my concept. This is what I need from you. So now let's go into a word processing document and put this together. So I'm going to use Microsoft Word. We can give it a title. Um, we'll just say rough draft. And then what I like to do is use a table for this. So I'm going to go to insert table and I can't remember how many scenes I had, but we'll start with seven. So I have two columns and then seven rows. So now if I go to my folder, you'll see these are my scenes. Scene one, two, three. Oh, I have 11. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll just, make 11 rows. So let's just start, we'll just start dragging these in. All I'm doing is dragging and dropping each of these graphics in. Okay. So I've run out of rows, so I'm just going to use my tab key add a few more. You'll notice I'm shrinking down these scenes and it'll come into play in just a moment once I get them all shrunken down. Okay, now that I've shrunken all of the scenes down, you'll notice this column now appears. So now I can type notes in or my colleague or client can also type their feedback in. So maybe we'll put a little header here. It says feedback ideas. You can put whatever you want. Uh, maybe you're going to use this as a, as part of your script. Maybe you want to put your narration here so you could write what the narration is and then hand this document to your voiceover artist and they can have their narration and they'll know what is going to be on the scene might be helpful to them. Depending on how you're going to use it, you could save it either as a word document. So somebody can add their feedback and put their ideas in here or do it as a PDF. 
We could email it directly to the client, or we could even print out hard copies for review. And there you have it, a doodly storyboard that you can share with others to help get your ideas across. Thanks for watching.